Welcome to the first video of 2019 for Authentic Rose Doodles. Welcome to the first video shot with this iPad and me just sort of awkwardly sitting here like this. Um, so originally I was just going to make this video kind of boring about um, my plans for the year and my bucket list for the year, which I just realized I forgot to bring the notebook over. Technically I can edit this now, so I can go get that notebook and then edit out the fact that I went to get the notebook. I've only kind of looked at editing. Um, I forgot to turn off my camera. The new year starts with me still forgetting to turn off my phone so the texts still come in. Anyway, um, so before I get to the notebook stuff, I'll just wait and tell you that today was a rough day. It was a very rough day for me. Um, I've been having some issues lately with like cramps in my, my low back and my stomach, like just pains, like not normal cramps, like pain that concerned me like just weird dull pain like not sharp pain like it wasn't super concerning I didn't go to the emergency room for it um anyway and I started thinking gee what if it's my kidneys what if it's a bladder infection and I started reading up on WebMD as you do you know when you need some real solid health information um and and you know side effects can be a panic attack it doesn't have to be it was yeah um I found out that bladder infection can become kidney infection which can become like a literal death, like it, it toxifies your blood, you die. So I began to cry because I'm too young to die and, and sometimes I do want to die, but not like that. So I mean, they're going to die when I'm older. I'm going to die in a way cooler way when I'm this young. I mean, you know, just dying of my blood going toxic. It's too much for me. It's terrifying. And I'm having a hard time staring at the right spot on this because the camera is that tiny little thing and I keep thinking it's this. This is like an awkward video chat. Anyway. So I'm crying hysterically, I'm reading WebMD, it's telling me that I have like, I don't know, 12 days to live, and I'm just like, you know what, I'm terrified of going to the doctor, should I go to the doctor to find out if this is an infection, or should I just sit home and slowly die, because it hurts, like it burns, it's not fun. Um, so I went to urgent care, and like, this is the first time I've gone to urgent care, I think since the incident where I rammed my toe into a chair and I thought I broke it because I was doing my physical therapy exercises for the last time before that that I went to urgent care, which is another foot injury. That's a long story. I don't intend to tell the whole thing. But anyway, that I think is the last time I went to urgent care. Unless it was something else. No, but that was like two, three, three years ago. Wow. That was three years ago. And I like never go to urgent care for an internal issue. Like for me, it's way scarier if I go for anything I can't see. Okay, this doesn't make sense. Well, I have health anxiety and like if I go to urgent care because I'm concerned about my lungs, my heart, and my internal organs, that's really scary to me because it's like, I don't know. I can't see it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Like I will go to urgent care for a spider bite. I've done that. I'll go to urgent care for a busted foot. I've done that. I'll go to urgent care for like maybe a really bad cut. I actually kind of needed stitches in that cut on my thumb. Oh, it was my other thumb. But it healed over so well. Wow not wind up needing stitches in that sucker it's like literally gone it healed over so oh there's the scar never mind <laughs> i was gonna say it didn't even leave out the yeah, end there it is okay now i see it um yeah i i would have gone to urgent care for that if i thought it needed it but i don't like to go for something that's like internal and scary and i can go and they can say oh you have this complication like i'm on the car going over there thinking they're gonna tell me i'm dying they're gonna tell me my kidneys are septic they're gonna tell me it's actually appendicitis <gasps> Which is like my favorite pet fear, as most of you know. Um, yeah. And it turned out that it's not any of those things. They tested it. They, you know, they took the old urine sample. Wow, that was fun. Nothing like filling a cup full of your own pee. Authentic Rose Jules in 2019. All I do is talk about my health issues like a 56-year-old Italian. Going, oh my god, I had to pee in a cup. I think my mom's a 56-year-old Italian woman. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like this angle in this camera, which is sliding, is so... Um, I'm flattering. Anyway, that just, sli it slides me right into 2019 goals about, why? I'm gonna, in future videos, I'm gonna edit that out, but tonight I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna edit it. You don't even want to know what this looks like from my view. <laughs> Good enough. Okay, so I got my notebook over here. It's It's purple. Because it's my left hand writing practice notebook because that is one of my goals. These are my goals. Why? I have one question to the universe. Why? Yeah, it turns out I've got like just like an overactive like small cyst on an ovary or something. 
So if it doesn't go away in a week, I have to check up with a doctor who knows about those things. So I would keep you guys updated on that, but I figure you probably don't care. Anyway, uh, so this I wrote on day three of my left handwriting practice. It's actually not that bad for day three of that. Um, I'm doing that because I feel like I may be either ambidextrous or naturally right-handed. I'm left-handed and not right-handed. Just because of some things I tend to do left-handed without thinking about it. And my right handwriting is like always so uncontrollably bad. Like I literally can't fix it. I feel like maybe I was meant to write with my left hand. It's actually coming out pretty good. So anyway. Uh, my 2019 goals. Learn better makeup. You know, I should put like stop freaking out over stupid things. And I literally went to urgent care today over something stupid. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm adding to this list right now. Stop freaking out over stupid things. I feel like I already said that. But like stop freaking out over stupid things. And also... While I was there, I need to stop freaking out over hearing my real name because, like, that's what happens when I go to the hospital. They call me my real name. Nurses over there, she's like, so, we just have to ask these questions. Um, do you have any, like, feelings of need for suicide or, like, to hurt yourself? And I was like, not really. I mean, I make some really dark jokes. And, like, she laughs and she was like, okay. Later, she calls me by my real name and I'm just like, hold up. If you're going to keep calling me that, we're going to have to go back to that list, that, that question about suicide because I'm going to have to answer it differently. It's like, if I didn't hear my real name... Anyway, um, so be more chill about that probably, or just get people to stop saying it. Like maybe I'll just legally change my name. Learn better makeup. See this mess that's going on? When I get better at doing my makeup and I have actually purchased some and started using it. It's not evident tonight. I cried off all my makeup earlier. It wasn't even that, but anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna learn to do better makeup. So like you'll see lumps on my face, but they won't be red. <laughs> I'm sorry guys you know it can only go so good I'm not like getting a whole new body um learn to write left-handed go to Virginia I'm gonna go visit Michelle this year we're gonna plan it I'm gonna go woot woot I'm like I'm very committed to that if this year passes and I don't go down there it's gonna be a problem <sighs> I will have failed one of my goals I want to start running again again that's like pretty difficult goal but I feel like I can get there in the spring when the air is not, um, like 11 degrees like it was last night, which was stupid. Um, and make better videos, which includes not this, like not me just rambling about, oh, I had to go to urgent care because WebMD gave me a heart attack. Yeah, that's not going to be what I start making pretty soon. Get a better job. Been applying to more places. Looking at that. Um, I want to be more of a light and helpful to people. And like, just like a general, like... I want to shine for the Lord and more than just this grease shine right here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And be really helpful to people. And also, I have also made a bucket list. I want to add something else to this bucket list, too, because I realized earlier that it's missing from this bucket list. I want to go swimming at midnight. I want to make charcoal into crystal using peanut butter. I saw how to do this on Instagram. I intend to do this this year. I want to pet a real sloth. Um, those of you who know a place where I can pet a real sloth or perhaps have a pet sloth, I'll come visit you, too, and I'll pet your sloth. Um, I want to like breathe flavored oxygen because I saw that on an old GMM and I just really want to do that. <laughs> and I want to do a stand up routine, preferably in front of people. I've been kind of working on writing my stand up routine. Um, if not in front of actual people, then I'll just film it and post it on this channel. And the other one is I want to take a selfie with a stingray. Like, you know, when they come along and they got those mouths and they're like, hey, they have fluttery bodies. Wow, this lighting makes my teeth like really yellow. Gross. Anyway, yeah, I want to. Stingray selfie. So yeah, me and a stingray, me and a sloth, a big crystal made of charcoal. I literally want to do that so bad. My mom's not really on board with it, though. I have to get a hold of my own supplies and burn my own charcoal in the backyard. Anyway, um, yeah, those are my goals. I'm going to have an awesome year. It started off kind of rocky. Hopefully I won't have to go to urgent care again or any other type of doctor and this thing will just go away. Um, but yeah, just so you guys know how I'm doing. Not great, but still here. Have a good year.